Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about my journey throughout CRNA school. Today's video is going to be kind of like a an update, I guess, um, since uh, Hurricane Ian. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. As I mentioned before, I live in Miami, which is on the east coast of Florida, and Hurricane Ian, unfortunately, uh, hit the west coast of Florida, which is right by where my school is, where my mom lives. Um, so. <clears throat> the Monday of last week, we got a notification from the school that Tuesday classes were going to be canceled as well as Wednesday and they would follow up throughout the week if the school was going to be canceled later on. Um, so I waited to hear from the school and they notified us late in the afternoon on Monday and you know I guess they were waiting on the most recent forecast from Hurricane Ian. and. Um, <clears throat> So I decided not to head west because it just didn't make sense to me to head toward the storm when a lot of people in that area were already getting evacuation notices. My mom got an evacuation notice. Um, some like my other classmates as well, they evacuated. So I said, let me, I was like, let me hold tight. I'm gonna just stay in, in Miami and um, wait out the storm here. So Tuesday night was when the storm was kind of I guess worse in in my area but it was just you know bands of wind and rain um, from the outer bands um, but the winds were nothing more than I, I want to say no more than 20 miles per hour nothing out of this world thankfully um, so I didn't lose power or anything but I do know a lot of my classmates and the school itself um, was out of power my mom was out of power um, the water levels rose really really high in that area um, so there was a lot of flooding in the streets and um, yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, the area is, you know, in the rebuilding phase. So where does that stand for me in school? Um, so we didn't have class Tuesday and Wednesday for my week five um, and I'm, we were supposed to have an exam on week six and it just, it was confusing because we didn't hear anything from the actual professor about um, you know, if the test was going to be in week six on Tuesday, if the material from week five would be included and we would have to learn it on our own, or if it was going to be like a test revised where they removed the information from week five. So we kind of were like, we don't know what we're studying or like what, where we're going. Um, and we did have assignments that we needed to do, but you know, the school was closed. So it's like, it just we kind of felt up in the air for me anyway. And um, I've kind of... I mean, on Monday night, after knowing I wasn't, we weren't gonna, um, I wasn't gonna head over to Naples, I was like, you know what, let me get some things for here just in case we lose power. And so I went to the store and I got, you know, some essentials like uh, water and some canned foods and things like that. It's not my first hurricane, but um, I just didn't know what to expect and I didn't wanna be underprepared. So um, I guess I haven't really been, 100% school focused for the last week and a half or so and I'm kind of nervous because I, I don't know if it's because I didn't get a break between semesters um, semester two and semester three but I've, I've kind of been like kind of checked out and I don't know if that's okay um, because it's like I've either just completely disconnected or like I'm just really really burned out I'm not sure but um, I haven't really done any schoolwork and I've only reviewed for that exam that was coming up and I'm also working on a few um, things for school that are due but it's like I'm also very half-assed I don't know how to say it other than that um, and I, I don't know how to explain the lack of motivation it's like I've mentioned to my friends I've, I think I even mentioned it on this channel before that you know the fear of failure is what fueled me and I feel like that helped me do so well um, you know just the fact that I didn't want to fail out um, I just made sure to be on top of everything and I guess now I have this false sense of security where I'm comfortable and I feel like 
it's it's become a problem because I just uh, had an exam in week four and I got a 98 but I barely tried like I'm telling you I understand that professor now like to a T like I know him I know how he asks his questions like I look at his powerpoints and I and I can even tell like oh this is a possible question this is a possible question you know so I'll study it the way that I know that he's gonna ask it and usually it works for me like I see the the test question I'm like I knew he was gonna ask it so I studied it so it's like I don't know if um, this false sense of security and also this like burnt outiness that's a word by the way I just made it up is um, conducive for doing well this semester um, I'm not sure if like they're gonna add an extra week to the semester or or not um, we did just get a notification that school is still canceled coming Tuesday I believe they just got power at the school um, but they were they this like the street area was flooded so I think they were unable to open the school for that reason but I'm not sure but they did send us a notification that if we needed AC or water or internet that the school would be open Monday for that Monday and Tuesday for that but not for school not for classes except Wednesday they will be resuming so I have school typically Tuesdays and Wednesdays so I'm just gonna be going over to Naples for one day of class um, but I don't know from there like what's gonna happen is like the semester is gonna be longer or are um, they gonna like uh, do like a a double lecture you know like where they do the actual lecture that was assigned and then kind of like piggyback and add the one from the week before I'm not sure I really don't know much about that um and it's kind of it feels like a little like up in the air for me like where I, I don't know where where I'm at right now and I'm usually very structured so right now it's kind of giving me anxiety and the, the anxiety I'm having is because of my procrastination my procrastination is causing me to just be like you know what I'd rather just nap so it's like a, a spiraling effect right now like I have literally been sleeping so much I also picked up a shift this week and last week um, and I was gonna go to Fort Myers to pick up some children I, ha I was like set in the line for the, my transport team to go pick up kids from um, one of the, ho the hospitals in Lee Health and they ended up uh, using a different transport company so I didn't have to go but um yeah i've been like trying to make myself available for work um to help out where i can because now that we've taken in a lot of the patients from lee health uh the children's hospital over there um my unit is very short staffed so i'm trying to see if there's any ways that i can help because at this point i feel like i'm very useless like i'm not doing stuff for school and i'm not focused on that and i don't know how to get in the mindset to get back in it um i guess i just needed this little break and i'm not saying that i'm grateful for it because there's a lot of devastation going on in the west coast i just don't know where to you know what's happening now and um yeah i feel kind of like i'm like upset with myself i don't know how to explain it it's just like i'm putting so much pressure on myself and i just don't want to do badly um so i i and i don't know where to pick up the pieces <laughs> if that makes sense um but yeah, that's where I'm at. I will be posting more information along the way, you know, how the semester is going to go based on what happened um, with Hurricane Ian, if they're going to extend the classes or if they're just doubling up on lectures. I doubt they're going to take the material out. That's just, I don't think that's a thing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know what to do from here. <laughs> and the motivation is steadily declining and I, I don't know how to get it back like I don't know how to get back up and going um I've been eating all the hurricane snacks I've, I feel like I've gained so much weight I just I'm so mad at myself <laughs> I'm like literally so so angry and there's so much fuel to get me up and going and I still just can't can't do it I don't know what it is like I turn on my computer and I start stuff and I'm like yeah I put in an hour that's enough you know which it's clearly not enough and um I'll just keep you posted throughout. I hope um, everyone in the West Coast is, um, you know, rebuilding and coming back together. Um, it just, it's unfortunate, you know, natural, natural disasters that do happen in the areas that you're living. And unfortunately, where I'm at is hurricanes. So, yep, I am hopeful that I will pick up and, you know, just resume where I left off and hopefully find the motivation again. But at this point, I don't have it. And I'm being very, very frank and very, very honest with you guys. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.